Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and we are playing 100 card Brawl Historic. Um, we're pretty close to EDH, uh, at least one-on-one -on -one EDH uh, on the arena platform. Uh, another card, we played Golos earlier that was unbanned. Uh, Winota also got unbanned. Uh, Winota is a very powerful card. Um, so basically this deck, what we're trying to do in Boros is play a bunch of cheap creatures with pseudo evasion, either flying or kind of like the Tin Street style where they can become unblockable. A uh, bunch of cheap creatures, play Winota, trigger Winota, get a bunch of big humans. Um, the most notable payoffs, Ingrath's Marauder, uh, all your sources deal double damage. We have uh, Blade Historian, double strikes. Um, we have Lena that creates a bunch of tokens that then further trigger Winota. Um, but it's just like a Boros aggro deck. Um, it's a 100 card singleton, so we won't go through every card, but basically you smork. Um, so let me know what you think of this Brawl content, if you'd like to see even 60 card uh, Brawl come up a bit more on the channel, but we'll play a couple games here. I have been enjoying it. Um, haven't played EDH in probably a year and a half. Um, so it is fun to kind of get this singleton. Obviously you lose some of the elements. Um, thus far, every game I've played against has been either Omnath or Five Color Pile. But let's see if we can race Golos. Um, I think we keep. So we're probably going Sky Terror into Bergy. You're a human, so you don't trigger. If we draw land, then I won't play out the Wily. I'll play out Bergy. Kind of wanted it on the shield side. got here. Okay, Shark Typhoon. Interesting no block. I th think what we're going to do is we're going to gamble on hitting a land here. I want to take them off a mana source. I think they forgot about the menace. They also have no green mana, which is notable. We hit a land, we get two triggers. Sides, any color. Actually, this is nuts with Golos. They can't activate their Golos without taking a bunch of damage. Looks like they missed the land as well, so they can Golos here. Beef of Sanity. Well, I came to do Winota things. Three triggers. Miss. Lena. Let's go Angrath's. Okay, two to, th two to the three best hits in the deck. And then next turn we have a bunch of triggers here. What do you do? Sacrifice Lena creatures you control with power less gain indestructible to end a turn. Almost lethal. Opponent, you gonna give me a shot? You gonna let me go? This was mainly in there for the life gain. Not bad. Boros doing, uh, taking down the big mana decks. And I think that's the thing, like, the way I built my Golos deck was very high priority on 
two mana like accelerants, you want to get Golos out as quick as possible. Golos basically pays pretty much its entire tax. Everybody's on Golos. Um, this hand's actually pretty garbage. We have no one drop. We'll keep this. Okay, Chandra is actually really good because it gives us something to um, trigger Winota. This one's nice because uh, Honor Crop can make our things bigger. Doom Blade. Okay. Opponents setting themselves up for turn four Golos. This build looks a lot more sound than the first build we played against. Can we draw a land? 34 lands in the deck. So obviously, ideally, we hit a land, hit Winota, get a bunch of triggers. May want to add one land to the deck. We might not need Ember Cleave. So our plan is Winota first if we can. If not, we're doing Declaration and Stone and Selfless Savior. Just take a turn off of the Golos. Go Ashiok. Obviously a bit frustrating here. We weren't drawing lines forever. What a foolish thing you are. Draining some life. Sand was pretty solid had we actually hit stuff. They can get Field of the Dead here. Yeah, we're just dead. We're just dead. If you're not going to see your fourth land ever, let's add one land. Because even in that first game, Try this again. A Vorn Clicks was kind of like the perfect. It takes the Chandra off, so it takes us out of even drawing a land. Okay, Bob is cool. This is going to be a race. We're professionals, so we draw first. Magda to make us some tokens. Oh, I forgot Snarl was a card. Uh, please play it out. I still hate the Snarls. I'd rather play a basic land other than a Snarl. I've been hit too many times. All right, opponent's going pure, unfiltered Gandalf. Okay, 
Red source one time. Red source one time. Red source one time. Not quite a red source. One time red source. Redane will be nice as well, just attacks. That's what's gonna happen this game. Another game, just no lands. Red source, please. We got one here. There's just a lot. How about a red drop? The annoying thing. So they can blow up their blast zone here. Pop the relic. Interesting. They opt to charge. That would have been perfect too. They don't have blue mana. They likely have a counter spell now. Ah, this is a frustrating game. was them it's almost worth the blast zone here like they're gonna take my redane off uh, they have the doom scar and now we're dead because we didn't that's super frustrating They have the exact sweeper to get around it through a discount. And we can't draw a red source to save our life. Alright. Oakden. We're going to play something. A little bit more of a brew next. I'm going to mulligan this. Okay, that sounds better. It's a little slower, but that's actually solid. Gives us a two drop into Annex on three. Oh, I was supposed to get a planes. Hopefully that doesn't bite us. So I can get ahead of them on Winota. I think I like that. Ooh, that's good as well. They only get one Winota trigger right now. Our deck really does not want us to draw lands. I'm at 33, 35 lands. It's 35%. Our curve's pretty low. Let's see Renota here. Verdict is. Swing and a miss. Ah, these these opponents need to like actually play out a game. Give this one one more go, maybe. 
one or two, see how it plays out. What are we up against? Another Winota. Our deck really only wants to give us one or the other. I think this is fine. We have action on two, Bergy on three, into Heroic. Heroic pumps our team, gives us a lot of... That's nice. Okay, we kept three lions to start. Will our deck allow us to draw the elusive? Raise the alarm's a good idea. Come on. Not worth the attack here. Minota here. Justice strike it. Our deck really hates us. Prevents us. From playing another creature. So, I think we're just gonna Ranger Vios here. Get some more one drops. Actually, no, probably the other one was better. A 1 1 just to make our stuff bigger. Okay, one more. Let's see if we can hit a fourth line. Most of these games have just been like who flips Winota. Do we go to 36 lions? Like I was playing 38 in Golos. I guess I should prioritize non-humans, but I want to be able to draw a lion tier if possible. Redane's actually a really nice drop. Come on. Okay. I'm going to concede this. We're going to add a land to the deck. Because this has been now four games that we just haven't been able to curve. Our curve is so low. But we just need to hit four lands. 33 plus two spell lands, 35. Average CMC is quite low. Let's get rid of... Declaration in stone. Snarl. Alright, I said I wasn't going to do it, but I'll play a Snarl. It's another dual land with potential... 36 lines. Will we hit four lines after keeping three in our opener? Uh, let's go this first. Gain some life. Counter spells and sweepers, obviously annoying out of this deck. Alright, if 
we don't draw land after this, we're going on strike. We're having a great turn for Winota. Here we'll play an Usher out. But I don't want to commit more to the board. This is good post a Winota drop, because it gets you three triggers. If they have any targeted removal, we can protect and we draw a card. Humorous. So I'm actually going to protect this. Just because this protects around the sweeper, so it can protect my Mila. This is just ridiculous. How many times? It's been like three games just not being able to curve out to four mana. We even had an accelerant. Six power on board, just under two turn clock. I can guide mother. I like just kind of putting ushers out. That's a good move by the opponent. Because apparently our deck refuses. Refuses to give us a land. Fourteen cards. Can't win now. Honestly, like, how many more lines do we have to add to this deck? And these have all been games where we would have had great, like, output. We would have been able to do our thing had we just not gotten completely, completely boned on lines. Nicobolas, Dragon God. I'm gonna keep this. Mainly because we have Raid Bombardment. It's just a whole bunch of damage coming up. Sequencing was wrong there. Missed a point of damage. We just need to 
jam here. I could have removal. Just like, today's not our day. The right answer at every point. Okay, that's gonna be a sweeper, likely out of them. We're gonna have a bunch of triggers though. Languish, they're going to try to survive this turn. They are playing a lot, like, unbelievable. Still win, but heavy discard everything all right so that was winota um not as smooth as the golos deck you can kind of get a feel for what's happening we we were on really some rotten variants but it's a deck let me know what you think and any cool decks you've been playing thanks for watching as always and have a great one